Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 46. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys a better way to handle checkboxes, okay? Now, some people do like to uh, handle checkboxes this way that I showed you guys in the previous tutorial. Okay, a lot of uh, textbooks or, um, well, just books that you buy that teach you PHP will teach you to handle a checkbox uh, in this way. So uh, that's why I made this video, but there is actually a much better way to actually handle checkboxes that we're going to take a look at in this tutorial. Okay, so um, as you can see, if you take a look at the code that we had in the previous tutorial, we're actually asking the user a yes or no question. Do you play League of Ye Legends? Yes or no? And we're expecting them to only select one of these uh, options. Okay, but a checkbox doesn't actually work that way because if I go over to this checkbox over here, um, you can see that we can actually select both of them. Uh, so if you're going to ask the user a yes or no question, it's probably best to use a radio button instead of a checkbox. Uh, which I will talk to you guys about in the next video. But for now, let's um, continue talking about checkboxes and I'm going to show you guys a much better way to handle a checkbox. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this and ask the user a question that makes sense for them to have uh, multiple answers. And we'll just say, um, what are your favorite foods? something like that and we'll say foods and we'll give them a bunch of different foods that they can choose from okay so let's go ahead and give them the option to choose a burger and then we'll put in our input ch uh, checkbox for that burger so input type equals uh, checkbox and then we'll give that a value of Hmm, just burger, I guess, burger, and then we'll give it a name. But this is where I want you guys to uh, obviously pay attention because I'm going to do something a little bit different to the previous tutorial, and that is I'm going to give it a name of uh, food, but I'm going to add in these square brackets. Now, what that means is that this all of our checkboxes are actually going to be stored in an array within the array of our dollar underscore post array uh, and I know that sounds kind of complicated but you'll see everything is going to make sense in the next couple of minutes so let's go ahead and actually just uh, break down here and add in a few more options so I'm gonna just duplicate this line and for our second element over here, let's um, give them the option of maybe uh, checking steak as their favorite. Okay, and then we got to rename this to steak. Then we'll set um, a salad value just for all the people that want to eat healthy food. A salad. And uh, let's go ahead and put in a we'll put in macaroni as one of the foods as well so macaroni okay so now we've got burger steak salad and macaroni and they all have values that correspond to uh, what the user ticked so burger steak salad and macaroni okay but more importantly we've given them all the exact same name food with square brackets and then food with square brackets and again same thing Okay, so it means that we're actually making an array called food. Okay, so now let's go over and handle these checkboxes. And uh, to do that, I'm going to uh, just delete all of this code. Whoops, I meant to say delete. There we go. Okay, and we'll put in some code to handle those checkboxes. And the way that we're going to do that is we're actually going to use a for each loop to loop through our array. 
Okay, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to echo something out to the user quickly. We'll just say echo out um, you selected and we'll put in a break tag and we'll loop through below over here and echo out each uh, food item that the user selected. Okay, and let's go ahead and say for each and of course we've got to put in these brackets and these uh, uh, curly braces and you guys should know that from my tutorial on uh, the for each loop so if you guys haven't watched that tutorial go back and watch the tutorial on the for each loop and you guys will be good to, to go now of course the first argument that we need over here is an array and um, we can go ahead and put in our array dollar underscore post food because uh, this food value is actually an array so um, when we go ahead and do that this is actually this actually qualifies as an array but if this does look a little bit too complicated for you then you could also do this as well so you could copy that and just make an array over here call it food and set that equal to this value and then actually just uh, place in the value of uh, food over here and you can use the food array just like that um, it'll work just fine don't forget the semicolon over there and then we can say as key and value uh, and again you guys should just watch my uh, for tutorial on the for each loop to understand why I'm putting in all of these things okay and we don't actually need to print out this key like I need it over here in my uh, description but I'm not going to print it out so I'm just gonna go ahead in over here and say echo uh, dollar value and then we'll append on a break tag so that um, everything that we print out here will appear on a new line and put in a semicolon and uh, now that I've done this uh, and when I go back to my browser let's click refresh you can see uh, we finally have um, our question over here so what are your favorite foods burger steak salad or macaroni go ahead and uh, tick your favorites so uh, I'm just gonna tick three of them for now we'll click submit and it says you selected burger steak and macaroni uh, let's go back here and change this up some so let's just select steak and salad submit and then you selected steak and salad so how cool is that uh, we now have a much better way of handling checkboxes and we can also handle if multiple checkboxes were ticked okay so that's all I have for you guys in this video don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.